The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I don't miss the Telefero TV. I'm going to be honest. I'm not the expert on this, but my people deserve the news, and I'm the guy delivering it right now. I feel like I'm delivering it the realest way. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. I can't reiterate that enough. That's how I know my demographic, and I grow, right? Y'all want to see me grow, I would hope, right? Anyways, I'm not the expert on this one. Wendy Williams, all right? Again, I've never really just tuned into the Wendy Williams show as a fan. If it's on TV, sometimes I've been been trying to watch some Martin. I'm not going to lie to y'all. And I check in a couple minutes before Martin comes on on BET at night. I'm one of those niggas. And um, sometimes Wendy Williams will still be on. Or maybe I'm watching a movie on BET. I'm also one of those niggas. And Wendy Williams uh, come on right after the movie goes off. I'm not a Wendy Williams fan. I just, her, her fan base, I'm, uh, they just agree with whatever she says. Look, I'm telling y'all, Telefero's growing, and hopefully I'm able to get to the place that Wendy Williams is with her platform. And I always salute Wendy Williams because she is a legend. Say what you want. She's a legend in my field. Um, I never really just, I just can't watch it, though. It's just not for me. Like, I never want y'all to agree with everything that I say. I want y'all to disagree with me. I never get mad at that. Like, yo, we need more opinion. I never want me to be the person that say, the sky is yellow. And everybody just start <laughs> clapping their hands and say, yeah, yellow, yeah, yeah. How you doing? No, 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 no. no. That's not what I want to be. I want some uh, pushback. I want a lot of uh, conversation about anything I say. And um, hopefully, I make your mind think enough where you can say oh dang telefero really makes sense on this he really he really putting in the extra effort to make sure his opinion not only is he saying it he's backing it up with facts and these things that i believe i, I really believe i want y'all to know that and i want y'all to believe in what you really believe in anyways wendy williams fan base ain't for me but for those who don't know or you didn't see on social media you can check it out on miss telefero tv a couple weeks ago, Wendy Williams fainted. Not even a couple weeks ago. It was on Halloween. It was like the Halloween edition. Wendy Williams fainted. We all seen that uh, that clip somewhere. And um, again, prayers to Wendy Williams. It was very scary to look at. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like seeing people pass out. It's just the nature of me, the human element of me. I don't like seeing it. I was concerned about her her, uh, her health because she has went hard. Wendy's on like an eight-year run, like an eight, ten-year run of just... She goes hard, man, and I can only imagine. I hear stories about Steve Harvey. He's like a, a guy that I look up to. Um, I hear stories about how hard he works. I'm pretty sure Wendy's maybe a step under him. She works hard for her success, right? I don't want to take anything away from her. She said she overheated in her costume for Halloween, but I'm hearing that that is just simply not the case, all right? So Wendy Williams' husband, name's Kevin Hunter, uh, Wendy's a admitted in the past that Kevin Hunter has cheated on her. She's never shied away from that fact, but a, a lot of people feel as if though Wendy doesn't attack these issues head on like she might attack if Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were having a baby. If Kanye West did this, if he was, he smacked the paparazzi or heck, let's leave Kanye. If T.I. and Tiny were getting a divorce, if Floyd Mayweather did this, a lot of people will feel like she doesn't give the same energy for her problems as she does for every other, everybody else's problems. Look, I always tell you this all the time. If something ever happened to me uh, with a rapper or anything out in public, they're not going to beat me to my channel. You, you guys are going to be the first to hear every detail, the honest truth about it. Because that's the kind of person I am. I wanted to be, if I got the nerves or the deep, the, the, a mitigated gall to get on here and talk about people, they have the right to say whatever they want about me. I can never tell a person how they can respond to me. And anything that's involved in my life, look, I get on here every day and talk to you guys. I open up to you guys about my stuff, my beliefs and all that. Y'all got the right to judge me. Do whatever y'all got to do. You know what I mean? It, 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 I, it doesn't get to me. Um, it's all cool. But it always feels like Wendy Williams is trying to hide behind stuff. It always feels like with her shit, she, she don't want it to stink, right? Um, she brought up the fact that there were rumors a couple, a few weeks ago, um, an outlet reported that they've been following her husband, Kevin Hunter, the guy you see in the picture, for over a year. They found out he had a mistress. Not only did he have a mistress, he bought a home for the mistress a block over for, from his home with his wife, Wendy Williams, all right? That's very bad. And then they, they said they did a year's worth of investigation. 
So, so to make that story worse, right? After Wendy Williams fainted, um, reportedly, as soon as that was over, the, her husband, Kevin Hunter, guy you see in the picture, went and he linked up with the side chick right after, all right? Wendy Williams knows about all this and they might have an open relationship. She's never spoke on that. They might not. Um, a lot of people at her job that work with her on the Wendy show are saying she's not moving around like the same person. She's not the same buddy person. She looks stressed. She looks sad, extremely subdued. Somebody said, quote, it's painful to watch. All right. And people believe that Wendy Williams did not faint because she was overheated in her costume. A lot of people are starting to think that it's stress related because she got a husband that just won't stay faithful. That nigga beyond faithful. That nigga buying homes for side chicks. And people are like, yo, you this independent woman. You claim to be this powerful black woman. And she, look, her position is power. And we need more women in positions like Wendy Williams. That's facts. Facts only. But they're like, yo, you can't, you can't be this powerful woman on TV every day, but behind the scenes, you ain't standing for what you're telling people and advising people to do. I just watched the episode of Wendy Williams the other day. Not as in I watched the show. Let me clean that up. I seen a clip online, right? Let me make sure I clean it up. I don't watch Wendy Williams. Um, I seen a clip online of her the other day with uh, talking about Cardi being Offset. And she was like, I don't believe Cardi B should have married Offset. I'm like, yo, that, that that's your opinion. I would never come out and say that. Uh, that's just not me. But yo, you kind of... You kind of going on a limb for somebody who won't speak on the fact that their husband might be allegedly cheating on you. You won't even talk about that on your show. So I've heard. Again, I want to make it clear. I don't want to be out there, there like I'm an undercover Wendy Williams fan. I don't watch the show. Nothing wrong with watching it. I, I just don't. Anyway, y'all know there's one guy who Wendy Williams has given hell to over the years. Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Has 50 Cent done his, his share of bullshit? I believe so. Um, I believe he's done some corny stuff. But boy, if you get at 50 Cent, he is going to set it out as it goes. It's like he writes you down on a list. It's like this nigga get, puts all this in the back of his mind, right? If you wrong him, he's going to get you back. So obviously when he heard the news that Wendy Williams' husband cheated again right after the nigga seen his wife faint on national television, you know, he went to town. Busted. Oh, come on, 50 Cent. 50 Cent posted this on his Instagram account. He said, bust it. Nah, these Cartiers, this Pippin on the side, these hoes going to get in line. All right, 50 Cent is, is being a troll. This is who 50 Cent is. He's trying to sell a show. He's been a troll forever now. Now he got the 50 Central show. But you you, you got to know this is coming with 50 Cent. 50, I don't think he cares for Wendy Williams. I do believe 50 feels like he's been covered by Wendy Williams inappropriately. And who am I to say he has or he has not been? I don't know what's the truth in some of the things she's reported on on him in the past. All I know is this is like the third time I've did a video where it starts off saying 50 Cent clowns Wendy Williams. He's on Wendy Williams' tuck. All right? When when you, a lot of people, like a lot of people, when you're beefing with somebody, if they see you going through it, they'll pull back a little bit. I, I just did a story a few minutes ago about WAC 100 and uh, Meek Mill. Obviously, WAC 100 and Meek Mill don't get along because that, that's the game's manager. Um, WAC pulled back and was trying to offer some advice to Meek Mill, right? He's seen Meek Mill going through it. He's incarcerated right now. He's going to pull back. Well, 50 ain't that type of person. If he beefing with you and he see you down, he's going to try to hit it lower, right? What was the old slogan uh, that Michelle Obama said? When they go low, we go high. Well, 50 Cent's the type of nigga when you, when, when you go low, he's gonna just going to go lower, all right? He, when they go low, I'm going lower, all right? I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be the pettiest. That's my thing. What y'all think about 50 Cent? He made sure you know that this nigga was busted again and Wendy Williams is still with him and she won't talk about it. I do believe Wendy needs to hop on her platform, dedicate a whole segment, talk about her situation. If you got the DC to talk about everybody else's shit, talk about yours. Mr. Telefellow TV, what you think about 50 Cent saying busted, Wendy? That nigga still cheating. You can talk about me all you want, but your nigga still cheat. Talk to me, comment box below. That is crazy. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'm out.
What's going on is yours truly, Mr. Telefero. And if you enjoyed this latest video, whether it's sports, hip-hop, or other culture-related activities, please subscribe to my channel right now. And if you want more from Telefero, you can always subscribe to the React channel for more of your latest reactions and music and sports highlights.